Well, that's not good. Oh boy, there you do. Got the A3 245 here in the garage. Uh, fortunately, while driving in the rain yesterday, I completely lost all my wiper blades. For a while, it would only kind of come down if I held the switch down, but now it's got nothing. So I'm thinking it might be the switch, but let's go ahead and see what I can't find. And hopefully, it'll just be something simple, but my luck's usually never that good. It's probably the motor. And I gave the last motor I had away to somebody, so it sucks. Let's see how this goes. All right. I found this awesome write up on the Volvo forum. So we're gonna go ahead and start inside of here. It says to start out by checking fuse number two. We got fuses right here. Fuse number two to say headlamp and wash, wipe screen, wash, and horn. I'm pretty sure my horn works though. Yeah, my horn works, so I'm doubting it's that. This is fuse two right here, it looks like. And it looks nice. These tabs look okay. Let me pop this out. Let's see if my horn still works. My horn does no longer work, so I'm assuming this fuse is good, which is a bummer, but that's not surprising. Okay, fuse is back in. <coughs> horn works again. So next thing we gotta do is go under the hood. We're gonna pull the connector off and check for 12 volts. Okay, now we gotta test that yellow wire right there for 12 volts. Go ahead and pull this connector off right here. Didn't feel all that tight. So the yellow one looks like it's going to be this one back here. So let me go get my multimeter. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do 200 volts. We're looking for a 12 volts, or roughly about battery voltage, so it should be that give or take. So a yellow connector right there. A ground which should be about there. Now we're getting 12 volts exactly. So that means we're getting power to the motor. Now what's next? Next I'm gonna hop into the car, turn the switch on, and I gotta test this brown wire, which looks to be this upper right one right here. I need to find 12 volt with the switch on low. So I'm gonna go bump it on, and do the same thing of the switches on. I'm gonna put this right about there, find the ground right here, and we got 12 volts. So, we know we're getting power to the motor. Now, that means this thing's probably junk. This is a junkyard motor too, so, well, so, the next step in this test is to check the grounds. So, I literally moved that, and you guys probably can't see it, but I literally just tapped the motor and now they're working. So I think it might have been the ground this whole time, which, that's really nice. So, I'm gonna go take it off and see if I can't find the ground and clean it up, but I'm gonna turn it off before I kill my wiper blades. So three bolts holding this in. Well, that bolt wasn't even tight. That might have been what it was the whole time. Okay, now we got those three bolts undone. We're gonna hop inside the car. I really need to clean this old girl out. But we're gonna hop underneath here. I'm gonna pull this cover off, which looks like I've got only like one or two of the actual covers still on it. So now that should slide down to find a mess of wiring. Oh, what's this? Hey! I just found the LED for my uh, my uh, glove box. That's been missing for a while. Sweet! Now it should be that bolt right there for the wiper arm. Nope, it's one more up from there. So, there's actually a little clip and the wiper arm motor itself is in the way. So if that sucks. So if I can't slide this little clip off. There we go. I should pull that out of the way. Now, out she comes. And off she comes. Oh. Now back up top of here, we should just be able to pull this right out. Oh. That seal's worse for wear. Look at all these freaking pine needles and stuff in here. 
Yeah, there's all sorts of debris and crap in here. So I'm gonna go, oh man, look at this, all in here. I'm gonna go get my shot back out. Yeah, that's what happens when these things sit underneath trees for decades. To my understanding, she sat underneath the tree for a little over 10 years. Well, let's just get the shot backing. See if I can't get all this cleaned out. This is really bad. No wonder I had ants living underneath here earlier this year. Oh! So, after some digging, I found a lot of crap actually in these corners over here. I think I just really need to desperately clean out this cowl properly. So, maybe in a future video, I'll go ahead and get that cleaned out. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and sand this surface right here. Hopefully, give it a little bit better of a ground. And then we'll go ahead and hook the motor back up and see what happens. And fingers crossed, I'll have good wiper blades again because I can't really drive in a Michigan winter with no wiper blades, unfortunately. I'm going to go ahead and sand underneath this motor too. I have a feeling this is the one that's the ground right here. Man, there's pine needles all over everything. I know this car sat underneath the pine tree for a little over a decade to my understanding because there's sap and stuff everywhere, but holy crap, man. This is just bad. Okay, it's looking halfway decent, I think. So, I think we should be okay. This one seems to come in contact with this upper one up here, so I'm gonna sand that one a little bit more. Might not look all that great, but... That's because it's not. Now, back inside to go put the rest of this together, and then we'll go test it out. I won't bore you guys with the last little bit of details. It's pretty self-explanatory. Okay. It is together. Not fully put away, but together. It's a moment of truth. Did we fix it or did we bust it? Hey! That's awesome. This is an issue I'm having currently. I gotta like tap it to feather it down. It's been doing that since I've had it, but it's working. So we'll dig into that a little bit later. And we'll probably clean out the cowl. So, if any of you Volvo gurus know anything about those switches or any information of where I should go to look to get her to sit all the way down when I just release the switch, uh, I would love to hear it. In a future video, I'll probably clean these cowls out really good. Uh, and then probably fix the rear hatch wipers because I really need to get that fixed. I said I was going to fix it like six months ago and a year ago, a year and a half ago, two years ago. But, you know, here we are not fixing it still. Anyway, <laughs> really appreciate you guys watching. 
very happy to have wiper blades again, especially in, win in the winter. It's not fun to be driving around with no wiper blades. So probably get a Raynex windshield because that stuff is mwah. And then uh, call it a day out in the garage here. It's getting a little bit chilly, getting a little bit late. So really appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you the next one. Adios.